Jim, we've just been able to welcome Marcus Carver back to the club. Great to have him back, we're very popular with the fans. Yeah, I think it ticks a lot of boxes. The club like him, he likes the club. You know, he's proven at the level. Got double figures last year, obviously he's come back on loan and hasn't played much football as previous clubs and probably took a little bit of time to get going and then based on the scene of Kings Lynn away with a, with a hat trick on that warm day, you know, we know what we're getting. You, you wouldn't want to change him in certain respects, there's little bits that he needs to brush up on. Overall, he works extremely hard, he battles, he competes, technically he's alright, he's a goal threat. You know, as I say, he's proven at the level, he's, he's double figures, so we're really pleased to have him on board. Yeah, well since we last spoke, you've been active, haven't you? you brought in Sam and Callum, as well as Marcus, so tell us a little bit about what you know about Sam and Callum. Yeah, so Sam obviously I've seen a lot over the years, he's been at Stockport and moved on to not so much at Halifax, didn't play much there, but we come across him last season at Buxton and you know, I've got a good friend of mine who, who watched the game last season, so he was the best player on the pitch. Looked over his clips, we've spoke to people, you know, Buxton are going full time, he's mm. got a decent job, low quality, he's good Suits too. Him, it? Something that I keep saying is, is bringing that little bit of experience in, a little bit of voice, a little bit of know-how. He's done alright the last couple of years. And he's a tough player, isn't he? He's tough, seen yeah. He's, I think you've seen, you know, the reaction to his signing. Mm. He's won the play of the year, I think it was the supposed to play of the year, yeah. Buxton, so... You know, he's very forth, well, well thought of there for the 12 months that he was there and you know, we're pleased to get him in so you know, Matty Thompson for me was one of our most improved players, Keelan Quansar as well. You know, we need players who are adaptable, we need players who can play wing back, full back, part of a back three, can they go over to the other side if anything or put Doyle under pressure or if anything happens to Doyle so you know they're adaptable those types of players so it, it gives us something and, and Sam adds a bit more because of his know-how he knows the level inside out he's won at the level before yeah we're pleased to have him on board and, and, and a good kid as well and very much like Callum as well I've seen Callum in the past more so when he was at, at Bamber Bridge he's a bit of an unknown Callum because he's been a defender mm. he's switched positions hasn't he's he? he's switched saying, positions yeah. and he's gone to um, centre midfield for the last couple of years and I think he was in and around the play of the year for the, the division last season. I think he might even be closer this season, just gone. He's been on our radar, we've had him watched. So, as I say, we've watched him and, and again, speak to a lot of people who, who we know. You know. you got a couple of players at Hyde who, who I know well in Redshaw and Lewis Alexander. Who, you know, they spoke really hard of him. Obviously, Will Russ has played with him, other players who we know and, and coaches and people in the game. And well, he's had two good solid seasons at the level. It's the time for him to step up. And who knows what we're going to get, he, he might embrace it and, and kick on again and hopefully that's the case. He's quite rounded as a player, he's got energy, he's got bite, he can handle the ball. So we see him probably more as a hold, well as a holding midfield but because of that energy that he does have, you know, he'll probably break forward on occasions as well but positioning he's good. The time's right for him now to step up and continue to progress and, and hopefully he does that on, on Southport's pitch. That's not the end of it, you've got, I've still got work to do haven't you Jim? I know you've been working 24-7 from what I'm hearing so uh, yeah. still got things to do. We at the minute have got a couple of contract offers out, we're speaking to players all the time. I met a player yesterday, I'm going to meet another player today. So yeah, we still need to do a bit of business, we're still a little bit light. We've identified players, as I said to you previously, we missed out on one or two, but that's, that's life, that's mm -hmm. football. All we can do is what we've got available to get a squad together. We're, we're doing what we can and we're speaking to everyone. We're it's building nicely, isn't it, really? You've got the it is, yeah. Uh, obviously, again, fans want it all yeah. yesterday, because yeah. they want to know what's what, but... It doesn't always work like that, as I say. There's been players who are away for two weeks, and there's another player we've spoke to who's only got back from his holiday yesterday. It's a little bit of a different scenario because he's at another club, etc. So, yeah. you know, I'm forever having meetings with Andy and Alan, and I was with Peter yesterday, you know, discussing things with, uh, with Tammy at the start of the week. So, there's a lot of things going on, a bit of travelling, lots of cups of coffee getting somewhere, you're meeting <laughs> players, and a lot of talk. But, you know, you got to do what you can. Pre-season's all boxed off, you know what we're got doing. Got Preston that we announced yesterday. Yeah, yes. So, so as I say, I've done that very early. I know Ryan Lowe well and I've done the pre-season very early. You know, and Lowe was the first game that we got in. It's a good game for us. And we've had a final source. I don't know whether it all Just announced. once have announced it's still on the One announced, yeah. So away. they're all boxed off. So I, I do believe in being full and planning and getting everything in place. So as I said to you previously, it's just about getting that boxed off. That's the one side. There's a lot of other things going on behind the scenes little things at the ground little things where we train 
kit etc all that's got to be done or is in hand you know we just got to wait for it all to fall into place but my biggest job at the minute is uh, is, is getting a squad together so yeah it's going well and uh, hopefully we'll have more news sh shortly but we'll see what we can do obviously we've been being away for a couple of days now so it might be towards the end of of next week hopefully we'll have more news sooner rather than later and we can continue to build and, and put a squad together that will be uh, capable and committed and competitive this season brilliant thanks jim